Welcome guys, it is the X-Men here and we are back on Oxfile Evolved, yeah boy! And today we're going to be doing some building, so we are actually on a, a new series, we're on a new server right now. Uh, we actually streamed on this last night and we're prepping for a brand new series that's coming probably tomorrow after this video is released. We'll probably start the actual series and stuff. So I'll give you a quick rundown on what's going on and then uh, we're going to get on with some building and getting ready for this series because uh, I feel like it's going to be a good one. Um, I'm really, really excited on this. But uh, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building uh, a sort of train station, uh, except it's going to be for a Diplo. Uh, so obviously you can have Diplos which have like 12 P like passengers on it. Probably not going to use it in the series, but uh, it's kind of, I don't know, it just fits in with the town we've got. So I'm going to, I will show you the town so far. Uh, we'll have a quick run for that. We won't go in too in depth because obviously we'll save that for an actual video. But uh, yeah, we're going to do some building. We're going to go creative mode and stuff. Um, so you lot can follow along and get some ideas and build your own. Uh, little town and stuff like that. So if you do enjoy this video at any point, don't forget to smash the up button, subscribe, ring the bell, enable notifications. All that stuff does really uh, help the channel and stuff. Go and follow the social medias. We've got an Instagram now and we've got a Twitter still and Discord and stuff. Um, so I will explain what this server is real quick. I will go into a lot more in depth uh, on the first episode. So this is going to be called Tribe Wars. And the idea is we have a, the Eco Saddle mod and the Eco Tribe mod, whatever it's called, which pretty much splits people into certain tribes. So you've got like a desert tribe, a snow tribe, forest tribe, uh, a cave tribe, a water tribe and stuff. And what's going to happen, we're uh, on the Patreon server, so if you're a Patreon of me, you can join in with the server. So there's going to be a couple people in each tribe who have their own unique dinos. So like if you're in the desert tribe, you can have the Phyla and the Scorpion. Now no other tribe can have them creatures, they're exclusive to you. You also get some really cool looking skins for yourself, uh, which kind of sets you apart. So everyone is going to be on a different part of the, the map. So we've got the town centre which is here, and then say the desert tribe is obviously going to be based in the desert, and they're going to have their own little smaller base there, but if you, wanna, uh, if you need to trade and stuff, you're all going to have to come and meet here unless you decide otherwise. But uh, what we're doing is we're like locking creatures, so you can only tame creatures in your area. So for the desert tribe, they might struggle to get a Verazino because it's not in the desert. So they're going to have to trade with another tribe who can get a Verazino. And they might trade a scorpion because they might be struggling to get one of them. And you can bring them here. Um, you can bring items here because we're going to have some exclusive items uh, for certain tribes and stuff. And it's also got a bit of PvP in. Uh, you, we're kind of having like friendly PvP, so you have to agree to it, so it's not just all out fine because PvP servers get very salty and it's really hard to manage and have everyone happy and stuff on there. Well, I, I know, <laughs> I've tried. So uh, that's kind of the rough uh, lowdown on it, I guess. We'll go into a lot more detail and give you more rules and stuff as it gets on. But I do want to show you the city or the town so far. Uh, of what we've done. So a lot of the patrons have been building. Uh, we built the saloon last night on the stream, which I'm actually really proud of. Obviously, this is all going to be cleared up. Uh, so we've got inside here. This is where everyone's going to come and have a few drinks. This guy's had a little too much already. So like I said, I'm not going to go too much detail. We'll just walk in, have a look at the buildings uh, real quick, because some of them are real cool. But once we actually start series, I'm sure we'll go through them all. Oh, God. I want to come over here. So we've got a jail. If you're bad, you're going to get locked in jail. Really cool looking, really cool looking. Uh, what do we have here? I believe this is... We've got a bank. You can store stuff in here. Everyone's got their own vaults and stuff. Um, I believe this is Town Hall. You got. You can park some big dinos here. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is Town Hall right now. Uh, everyone's got their own little like rooms, so if you need to... I don't know, make some laws. <laughs> uh, my favourite one so far is the pet store. This is where people are going to um, sell or you know put some uh, creatures up for adoption. Pets that need a home, put some jabos in there. You can trade some shoulder pets. Got some turkeys in there. This one's really, really pretty. I do need to show this bit off though. We've got a little otter deal going on out here. That's like adorable. Uh, see, we've got that. And then there's another one I built last night when I was off stream. We've got the post office. So you can come in here. You can uh, send stuff to people. I don't know. However you want to use that, so that's the post office. We have the stables, so you can park your creatures here when you come to visit. Uh, you got obviously your snow owls, your beavers. 
a nice big area just there. We then have the Dodo Church, because obviously, the, you know, the Dodo God is what we all worship here. This is pretty. This is really pretty. And then you got a uh, uh, floating me. <laughs> oh, hail the Dodo God. Uh, and then I feel like... Oh, yeah, there is some here. I was going to say, I'm sure someone else was built. I'm not 100% sure if this is finished. Uh, this is the... Uh, I think this is the gun shop, which uh, looks like might still need a bit more stuff in. And then we've got the gun range, so you can practice your shooting and stuff. So another thing is we're not building any metal or tech. We're kind of stopping at stone, trying to keep it primitive-ish uh, as we can. I think we're still including guns and rifles, but yeah. So this is the Colosseum. This is where we're going to have some big dino fights. Maybe win some awards and stuff like that. Maybe some colorful dinos or something like that. So that's the town so far. I'm going to build a train station. I might do a barber shop and then a couple of like generic houses to fill it in. Uh, just to make it look more alive and stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited for this. Really excited for this series and I cannot wait to start it. So uh, just going to be rambling on for this whole episode, which is great. Did you just eat that bush? Mr. Fezzi, you know, you did. So obviously every, all these creatures are spawned in for now. Uh, obviously everything's spawned in. So the idea is once all this is built up, we're all going to get rid of all the creatures, start a fresh character, put ourselves in the tribe, and then start for real. And then you can build your own towns or whatever and stuff. But uh, yeah, for right now, I'm going to follow... I've been kind of following like the... Like the, the Wild West cowboy style buildings. I don't know why, I just... It just feel good <laughs> and it's kind of like primitive style but also modernish so that's what we're going to go for so this is the eco saddle mod not saddle eco stable mod and uh i'm going to just place like all the foundations and stuff uh this is probably where like the you know quote track would be so we'll probably have a diplo here uh, i might spawn a diplo in just to keep there forever I don't think anyone's going to ever use it because I don't know why you'd want to travel from with a Diplo. Uh, I don't know, it might be weird. <laughs> um, uh, any other info we need? Wyverns, we're not taming any Wyverns. They're going to be on the map still, but they're just going to be more of a, a, a threat, I guess. Like, if you're going to travel to the volcano, it's going to be a lot more difficult, which is going to be a nice uh, change because Wyverns kind of make things really OP. Um, so, yeah, we'll bring this out a bit more. Uh, and then we're gonna whack a, a kind of a sort of like I said western wild western style building on top and we'll decorate the inside have a little guy selling train tickets and stuff okay so I feel like the foundation's probably done so what I want I want to uh, steps all along here the only problem I hate with uh, this area or just arc maps is this weird grass how am I meant to build anything with that grass when it's all sticking through my freaking platforms? <laughs> like, that's really annoying. So yeah, we're going to have the ramp up here, obviously, because everyone's going to walk up. And then we're probably going to have maybe like a, a walkway all the way around so you can go around the building. But we do need something in the middle where, you know, the actual building is. Uh, I think we've still got some walls and stuff. Yeah, so we've got these full stables, which are really cool. Um, they kind of fit in with the western style. Can we build it over this way first? I'm not sure how far in we want to go. I'm just going to kind of mess around with this. Um, like this would be the bit you stand, maybe sit on a bench and wait for the dip player. I don't know if I want this out further and just have a one. Hmm. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Also, like, how far forward do we want it? Like, you'd walk up, you'd go into... Like, this is going to be an actual really big building. Um, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Maybe I'll keep two and have a really huge platform. We can all... all yeah. yeah, we can always extend it. I guess we'll probably do it like this. Obviously, we're going to have some doors and windows and stuff. Just getting, like, the basic shape and then we can, we, we can replace... Uh, you know, replace bits. Just want to get the basic outline done. Uh, how do we do two this side? We did do two this side. We got two this side. That is two K. Okay. So by the way, I am no expert builder. 
Um, just kind of, when I'm in the mood for it, I do a okay job. I'm sure if you lot start building, it would look a whole lot better than this. You'd have to let me know in the comments how good or bad you think this is. Okay, so how big's that? Actually, no, that's probably not a bad size. So what I'm thinking, I'm, I'm in my head I've got like Red Dead Redemption style buildings. Uh, sort of like that, that style. So if I remember correctly, you walk into a train station, you have like a... I think they have the post office in there, don't they? So they have like a box which is going to go round here somewhere. Um, let's say it was... Don't want it too out, maybe that's too big. Where they have like the guy in there that sells the tickets. Uh, we have like some other really good wall styles like I put in the other post office. So I'll probably put that all the way down. So that's probably where the guy will sell you tickets. You queue up here. We can have some benches. We can have some notice boards. Um, some lockers. Yeah. Alright, I feel like I've got a rough idea. It's very long. But that's fine. Uh, we're going to have a very pointy roof. We'll have a diplo here with a saddle. We'll have maybe... We'll have some... I don't know, maybe some maps all along here so you can see where you're going and stuff. I don't know, I feel that'd be pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, that's two foundations, that's two. Okay, okay, uh, we need to get some doors and stuff. Uh, do I have the eco-stable thingy with Bob here? This is probably becoming one of my favorite uh, building mods right now. There's a lot of stuff in here, so we've got uh, roof pieces, they should be like Structure, De decorative, that's it, got decorative stuff, furnitures, we've got jumps apparently, that's always cool. Uh, saddles, and we've got like all these structures here which just kind of have a western feel. So uh, yeah, let me um, have a look through all this stuff, we'll see if we can get some doors on, I feel like, I'll see if I can find something to go on here, and we'll have a look how that is. Okay, so I've put some doors on, we've got a door either side, so we've got a door that side, door that side, we've got a door leading out. So this is the, uh, this is what I mean about like, I don't know, so you're going to have this grate here, so you can interact with whoever works here, but you can't hit them, <laughs> you can't assault them, um, we'll probably just have it there, because um, then we'll have this like, on the top, because obviously this is going to be like another layer high and stuff, I feel like that, that looks really cool. It'll look better once the roof's on, but that, that's where you're going to be able to buy tickets, shout at someone because the Diplo's running late and stuff like that. And then you can head out and you've got your ticket to the platform. We're going to build a little uh, roof, uh, what's it called, like an overhang balcony sort of thing over the top here. We'll have pillars all along. Yeah, sweet. All right. I feel like this is coming along nicely. So I'll probably just... I can't fly, apparently. I'm just going to wax some uh, maybe windows along here, uh, probably windows along this side, and then I'll build up another level, uh, and then I'll probably just bring you back once the, once we're nearly ready to make the, the roof on this bit, yeah, okay. So the windows have been added, so there's this uh, rustic metal roof that I feel might work here. Uh, I know we said we weren't building in metal, oh, gotta make sure this all Lines up probably. What are you attached to? Why are you not attached to the rest of them? I love arc building. <laughs> it always just makes sense. Especially when you're... N like, what, what is this? Why are you further back now? Like, I'm not an expert builder, so this stuff annoys me even more. Like, what? Okay. That good? Are we good? Okay. Now you're lower. Uh, okay. There we are. We're getting places. We're doing it. Oh, yes. We're on a roll. No. Yeah. Yes. Oh, now we're going to struggle for this one, ain't we? There's like a million snap points here. Come on. Just, just need you. Need you here somewhere. God. Oh, oh, oh. Was that it? I saw it. Okay. Nope. <laughs> God damn it. This is why I love building. This is why I do it all the time. Okay. And that looks good to me. So let's try and do this other side. Come on, let's let's get up like normal. Because I know what's going to happen. Wherever we place this, should we maybe start the other side? Wherever we place this, it's not going to line up properly. There's there's going to be an issue somewhere. Um, 
Alright, I just need you like maybe that. As long as these all join up, then we might be good. Okay. We're on a roll. Nope. Yeah, okay. Okay. Didn't want that. This is how experts build. All you people that watch building tutorials, they're all doing it wrong. This is how it's done. This is how you make a good building video. No speed builds, no details on what we're using. <laughs> and it's in creative mode as well, so it's not like better get any resources. All right, come on. Damn it! Just play, you know, like, it tells you, like, oh, I'm going to place just here. That's telling me it's going to place just there, and then you place it, and it's like, oh, it's listening. <laughs> Otherwise, this is like, hmm. I was just lying. Like, that one should have snapped down, but it didn't. But whatever. Nope. Oh, the joys. Oh, the joys of building. There we go. The ceiling. The roof is done. Jeez, that was hard work. <laughs> that took way longer than it should have. I think it took longer to do the roof than anything else. So, yeah, kind of looking pretty cozy in here so far. Uh, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. So, we'll start on uh, this bit now. So, we need, like, a... Uh, I, I have no idea what they're called. They're not, they're not balconies. You know, when you have a thing that comes over here. What is that called? Let me know, because I'm pretty sure I'm like, ah, oh, shit, that's what it is. But right now, I have no idea what it is called. It's weird. Um, so we probably need. Do you want metal, or are we just gonna go normal ceiling wise? Do I even have any ceiling parts? Uh, we've got wooden ceiling. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, we will place. Um, we will place pillars under it to look, like make it look like it's supported. And do we want to come all the way out? We'll just use wood for now. If uh, if it looks a bit weird, then we'll can. Uh... Okay. If it looks a bit weird, we'll change it to maybe some metal to like match the roof. But let's see what it looks like for now. So obviously you have this, so it keeps the elements off you. You don't want to come and stand out here and it starts and it's raining. Oh yeah, sweet, that looks good. What the shit? Why is there a gap? No, where are you picking stone up from? Where are you getting that stone from, bro? Okay, that's weird. Are we going to have issues here? What the shit? Alright, whatever. That works. We've just got another random snap point somewhere. Let's try metal ones. Uh... I feel like metal may look better just because it's going to suit the, the roof a bit better. Even though they are very, I don't know, they're very chunky. <laughs> like this, this bit just here is thick. <laughs> it's very thick. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm probably going to do it in metal instead. So I've added these uh, like support beam looking things I found on to each corner, which things adds a little bit. But we're going to add a... Uh, the pillars now. I feel like we're just gonna kind of do it like that. Uh, maybe not there. Maybe the next one. I feel like this. This will look right. Pillars always seem just to make stuff come together. I don't know what it is about them. <laughs> um, so that's not got one on the end. That's not going on the end. All right. What's that looking like? I don't know if I want these. Like I don't know if I want them here rather than the edge. Mm, I don't know. Kind of like them at the edge. Uh, yeah, I feel like I like this. I like it a lot. I'm, I'm liking how this is going and stuff. Um, the roof, yeah. You know, that's that's fine. That's fine with me. So what we need to do now, I feel like that's the the main like build of it done. Uh, probably do need to just whack a ceiling on here, actually. Do we still have the wooden ones? Somewhere, that's a wooden one just there. Just so no one can jump in and... Oh, not sure where that just went. <laughs> not sure where that just placed. Uh, we could start doing all the decorations and stuff. Ooh, that's pretty. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. We'll see then, sweet. So excited decorations, benches, uh, storage, uh, mannequin. So there's a guy actually working in there and stuff. Alright, so one thing we do need to add before I completely forget, we need to add this sign. 
Can we? Oh, we can put it over here. Sweet. Now, do we want it like on a corner bit like this, or do you want it smack bang in the middle? Uh, let's see what it looks like from here. So we're going to write uh, train, because that's where the train's going to be. Um, can you like start flying for a sec? Hmm. I feel like it might work there. It, it may do. It may do just there. So uh, yeah, we've got in a load of uh, storage stuff. I was thinking about adding a windmill. Uh, how does this look if we whacked that? Like they, they have them, right? I feel like it might just add that little bit more. We probably need to put railings around here as well at some point. Uh, we're really tall, I just realised. <laughs> we're huge. Alright, so uh, yeah, we've got storage boxes, we've got barrels, um, got these storage boxes. They just kind of look good, we can stack them up. Uh, so put some these. We've got the benches out already. So let's like maybe have a bunch of these here. So the good thing about this is, like as I said, we can stack them up. So if we put some like that, we can have another one on top of there. Now there's uh, a mod that adds uh, creatures in a crate, which I might go and grab a couple of them as well and put some of them on top. It just looks like, you know, stuff's been going on here. I think that's really cool. Uh, let's add a barrel there. Maybe another one of these. So it looks like, you know, th there has been stuff going on to and from a Diplo train. I don't know. It looks neat. It looks neat in my opinion. Let's work some more of these just around this bit. This is this is a working corner. Uh, like that. Let's have maybe add a few barrels. This is where all the all the beer is. Can we place these on top of these stack? Ooh, they do. Okay, okay. That's cool. I like it. I like it. I like where this is going. Uh, I'll tell you what then. I, I need to go and grab some of them dino crates because I feel like we can add them into this. Yeah, this is looking this is looking good. Like just little stuff like that just makes this look good. Right, so I'll show you exactly what I mean. So this should be a dodo one. So we can whack a dodo crate up here. Yeah, that looks cool. So we've got dodo crates, we've got uh turkey crates, we've got T-Rex crates, wolf crates. Like these could be like ready to be shipped off. That's really cool. I like this. I'm liking this a lot. Okay, let's do maybe one more. Uh, maybe a turkey down here. Then we can put some more on the other side. Oh, damn. Turkeys are big. Let's have like this. Okay, place them on top. Oh, that's neat. Uh, maybe a small one, just like in the front. Sweet. So this is like a little area where stuff's ready to be shipped off. That's really cool. I like it. We should probably do some this side as well. Even though this is where all the long stupid grass is, but it's fine. So let's maybe place um, a trike. Oh, he's angry. He doesn't want to be here. Bless him. Okay, we'll place some more of these. And then let's get this Rex one up. Oh, that's a Uta. Oh, there, there's the Rex. Okay, is that big? Oh, he's like a little baby Rex. Let's have him, like, right up against here. I don't want him in the wall. That's what I'm trying to stop. That's probably okay. Oh, he can have boxes on top of him. He won't like that. Maybe should we have like some like coming all the way up? Like someone stacked them all the way up here. How does that look? Is that too much? Mm. That might be alright. That might be alright. If we squeeze through there, we can. Awesome. And then what do we have left? We've got a couple of dodos. I, I'm not sure about the Utranus. We may not put the Utranus on. It might be too much. Uh, I did want another dodo one. Can we stack dodos? We can. Have you facing this way though? Okay. 
This is coming along nicely. There we go, look at that. Hey, Mr. Rex. What's good? How's things? Let's have a barrel just chilling here. I think we, we can probably get other barrels. I know there's uh, the the raft mod is good. I may place some of these just under here as well. There we go. That looks really neat. I like that. I, I'm proud of what I've just done. So I've got like dinos ready to be transported. We've got all this stuff up here. Yeah. This is coming along nice there. I'm doing a really good job. So the outdoor bit's pretty much done. Um, yeah, that looks neat. I wish this grass would go away, but it's fine. Yeah, that looks really good. That looks really good like that. Okay, let's uh, do some of the inside bit then. Okay, let's uh, let me just pick this up. Uh, we can fly in. We'll place this mannequin first. Uh, you're facing me, so you want to be facing like... We can get you here. We can turn you around. Sweet, okay. Uh, now, change periods. Um, yeah, that looks good to me. You can be a guy. We have a... Where do we, we had a female at the post office, so we've got a guy here. Uh, change pose? What poses do we want you to be doing? Point in. He's like, yo, ticket please. Uh, advanced settings. Hide character model. <laughs> Why would I do that? Uh, what kind of clove do we want? Do we want a... Um, desert, maybe? Okay, so I've got a hat on him. Uh, I can't... Can we change his hair? Can you have, like, no hair? There we go. Sweet. Right, let's pop this back up here. We definitely need some lights in here. Yeah, there he is. Look at him. He's like, yo, tickets, please. That's cool. And then we can probably place some storage back there as well. Um, so, I did like that. I do want some storage. Where do we want that, though? Do we want that up here? We can just have, like... Jeez! We've got some thunder. That didn't scare me much. <laughs> We have some of these going across here. How's that look? It's it's summer. <laughs> have a barrel just there. There's like storage and stuff there. You could probably place some lockers in. Um, I'm gonna add some random beer bottle just because <laughs> they're drinking on the job. So there's that bit. We definitely want some benches. Benches in the middle there, so you can just like sit down where you're like waiting in line or something like that. That might work. Uh, let's put these ones a bit further out. Okay, so we've got a couple more stuff we can place in here. So I did find this really cool looking. Uh, it's a blueprint for a long neck, but I don't know. That just looks really cool. I wish there was more stuff like that. So we're going to have that up there. And then I completely forgot, but I've just remembered now are the maps. So this could be, uh, obviously it's just a, ma uh, a map of the island, but you could pretend that it's got like routes to where you're going and stuff, and I feel like that'd be really cool. So we just place these around, and then we'll have some on the outside as well, or should we, no, we'll probably just have on the inside, so you know where you're going. I think two is probably enough. Two is probably fine. Um, and then I've just been kind of making up, so we've got a bookshelf. Which we can have here. Maybe uh, there's information in there. That's pretty cool. I actually quite like that. Uh, what else do we make? We've got uh, some filing cabinets. We've got some benches, which I do want to change. And we do have an open sign. So you know it's all open. So we can whack that just. Train station is open, boys. Uh, yeah, I did want to change these benches. Or a couple of benches out here. So these really cool looking ones. Uh, so we'll pick that one up. Uh, I'll probably pick this one up. And uh, maybe one. Maybe this one. Because these look like very posh looking benches. They f look like they're going to fit in with this style. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Noise. That one is a bit in the wall, but it's, it's fine. I'm not too bothered about that. Sweet. So there's that. Uh, what else do we have here? So we've got some uh, large storage. Don't know if you want that anywhere here. Mm. 
may put that in there with him. This looks like he's actually got stuff that he's doing. Uh, what was the other one? Display shelf. I may just whack that here. There's nothing on it. Okay, I feel like uh, that's pretty much going to be it then. So we can just uh, go in here, decorate your little room a bit so it looks like it's not too empty. And then we'll all be good. Um, let's just have this just back here. It's like when you look in, it looks like he's actually got work stuff to do. Uh, filing cabinets, how big are these? Ooh, they're perfect. How far back do they go? Is that... Are these got wheels on? Damn! Does that look good? That looks pretty good there to me. Let's have some boxes in the back. Like so. I want some of these. Man, I am good at this decorating stuff. That. Um, so a shelf. Any other random bits could probably put in there. Large storage, create tool rack. Large storage rack. Uh, can we place that here? Yeah. Looks like he's hard at work and stuff. Should we have a random bottle? Can we place a bottle on here? Can we not place a bottle on there? Ooh. Someone there like that. <coughs> so if we put that back on there like that, and you look in, yep, that looks like he's hard at work and stuff. Sweet, so we've got tickets just there. I feel like um, this is probably the train station done. Um, did I, I can't remember if I wanted railings or not. I feel like all the pictures I saw, like just to get a reference to what we're building, they don't really have railings. Maybe some roped ones just on the sides here. I'm sure you have like a roped railing or something. So, some form of mod over here has railings with ropes on. Uh, fences railings. Uh, um, 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 angled rope railing. Sure. Do you just have a normal rope railing? Let me go find it. I found it. It was part of the advanced uh, mod. The advanced raft, sir. Um... Let me see what this looks like. Because I feel like you would have a some sort of railing. I don't know if I'd like legit just want it there. Maybe one there, and then the same with the other side. It's hard to see there, because obviously the stupid grass is in the way. Let's try this side as well. Hmm. I feel like I kind of like that. Obviously, I don't want it at the edge, because... Every man for himself. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep that. It just kind of keeps this area more compact, maybe. Yeah, that's good. That's good. All right, uh, let me let me just have a, one more search around. I want to see if there is anything I can do with the ground to make it look like more of a track. Uh, and then I'll get a diplo, which we'll probably keep there just as a I don't know, just because it looks it'll look good kind of deal. <laughs> But uh, I feel like, um, do I want any decoration out front? Do I maybe just want a couple of these boxes here? Just to make it, because it looks very clean out front and then everywhere else it's not. Yeah, you know what? That looks a lot better. That looks really cool. I like that. This grass though is pissing me off. <laughs> All right, yeah, let me just uh, quickly go see if we can find any terrain stuff. Okay, and I feel like we have finished it, or more more or less finished it. Uh, there's probably one or two bits I'll touch up before we launch the server, but I am pretty impressed. I'm not going to lie, building, I don't know, I've just really been in the mood for it recently, and obviously with all the mods to decorate, it looks really cool. So let's uh, have a look then. So obviously the grass is really annoying, but we do, it says train. We've got a, an entrance there. We have an entrance here. I have put some lights up as well it says they're open which is always good so we've got some boxes out front so we can head on in here got some lights up there we've got a map of the uh the map a map of the map <laughs> uh, we've got another map of the map so you can work out where you're going um 
I am tempted to draw on them, like a sort of fake route of where the train goes, but we'll leave it for now. We have this really cool blueprint uh, poster. Can we not fly? There we go. I, I don't know why, I just really like this. Uh, it just tells you all about the, the long neck rifle and stuff like that. Uh, so we've got the guy who sells the tickets, so you'd line up here and get your tickets. You've got little benches if you just sat waiting for a train, waiting for a friend. I don't know, whatever you want. Just got some general storage stuff that they might use to clean the trains with. Um, so yeah, we've got all that. And then we come out to the platform. There's the train waiting for us already. So we've got this side, which I quite like. This is very, like, packed. It's got loads of stuff waiting to be shipped off. Got a poor little trike there. Got a little baby Rex. And we can walk down and sit on these benches. Can we sit on these benches? Oh, we can sit on these benches. There we go. So you can wait for your train, just sitting there. Uh, got some lights above all these benches, like the, the posh looking ones and stuff. And then we've got the other side again. Is this, uh, this is probably my favorite bit. It's just rammed. There's just so much stuff here. I don't know, it just looks neat. Like, it's not neat, it's a mess, but it's a good mess. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is the uh, pathway we made. So there's like um, a cluster of like rocks you can make. That's all I could think of how to do a sort of track. So it could be like, he's walked his path so many times that he's just dragged rocks from his feet. And that's kind of the path he follows now. But uh, yeah, it's train dino, so you'd get on him. Um, can we get out? So you got uh, passenger seats, we could board passenger five. I don't think we can came out on here, we can't. But you'd just be sat on here and you'd travel to, I don't know, wherever you want to go. So that's the freaking train station, boys. Like that, I am pretty pleased with that. I think that looks really cool. So we've got a couple more buildings to do, and then we've just got to set the uh, rules for all the patrons, and we're pretty much ready to start. And I cannot wait, because uh, that thing's pretty badass. Quite like that. I feel like I've done a really good job. So uh, we are going to call it a day there. So if you did enjoy this, uh, something a little bit different than a normal series and stuff, just kind of getting some buildings and stuff done, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell. Let me know of any improvements I can make because by the time this video comes out, we may still just be setting some stuff up so I can add uh, some bits and bobs and stuff like that. Because um, I'm sure I've missed some of that. I'm not an expert builder at all. I'm normally really bad at it. I just like this mods these mods help me build a bit better <laughs> so uh yeah uh subscribe like and um follow the social medias and stuff and thanks for watching and i'll catch you all in a bit